Bora da dos methorfor. Welcome to our first online lesson and today's lesson is going to be literacy. Our learning objective today is to use capital letters and full stops and to use interesting vocabulary. Your task today is to either send me a letter or send me an email telling me all about your fabulous Christmas. But what I want you to make sure that when you're writing the letter to me that you use capital letters and full stops the older children can also include some punctuation like exclamation marks and commas and I'd like you to use interesting vocabulary. So up here I've got a really short letter, I'm sure you know it's not going to be as short as this, um, about Christmas. So I've said, Dear Miss Davis, I had a nice Christmas with my family. We did lots of nice things together. I had a bike for Christmas and some computer games. I had a nice Christmas dinner with Sprouts. Hope you had a good Christmas. Well, obviously there's something really wrong with my letter and it needs improving. The first thing we need to look at is where the capital letters go. And they always go at the start of a sentence and they always go on somebody's name. So at the start, we've got Dear Miss Davis. Well, Dear is going to need a capital letter because it's the start. And because this is my name, the M and the D also need a capital letter. Okay, and when we go to the end of Dear Miss Davis, we put a comma. Our next section is I had a nice Christmas with my family. I, we need to include a capital letter along with a full stop at the end of the sentence. I had a nice Christmas with my family. Straight after a full stop we need to include another capital letter. So we did lots of nice things together. End of the sentence and then another capital letter. I had a bike for Christmas and some computer games, full stop. I had a nice Christmas dinner with Sprouts. We need a full stop at the end because it's the end of the sentence. We could even add an exclamation mark because not everybody likes Sprouts, including me. Hope you had a good Christmas, capital letter on hope. Hope you had a good Christmas, full stop and then your name. And just remember that when you sign your name at the bottom, your name needs a capital letter too. Now, if we look through uh, my letter, it's not very interesting, as you can see, and I've used a lot of the word nice. Okay, so we need to have a think about how we can change that. I had a nice Christmas. I had a fantastic Christmas. Okay, I had a fun Christmas. I'm sure you can think of loads of other words. I had a fantastic Christmas with my family. We did lots of nice things. We did lots of interesting things. Okay. We did lots of interesting things together. I had a bike. I had a, you could even put a colour. I had a blue bike for Christmas and some computer games. Did you always want those computer games? You could add that to the end. I had a blue bike for Christmas and some computer games I had always wanted. I had a nice Christmas dinner. I had a yummy Christmas dinner. I had a delicious Christmas dinner with sprouts. Hope you had a good Christmas and sign your name at the bottom. So I'm looking forward to seeing all the interesting letters or emails you're going to send me. Just remember, you don't need to print out any worksheets. You can display them on your screen and either use a pen and paper and take a photograph of them once you've done them, or you can use Word um, and then upload them to see so for me. But make sure you do, because I'm really looking forward to it. Hello,